Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to my daily video. Um, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna summon. Last time I summoned, I didn't get really good luck. Hopefully this time I'll have better luck. I did spend some time in um, farming B8 for the past few days. So I currently have 57, 56 eggs and this random light dark egg, I have no idea where it came from, but we'll, I guess we'll pop this as well and see see what I get. Um, yeah, that's 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 what we're, we're gonna do. We're just gonna we're just gonna summon really quick, and if I if my inventory gets full, we're just gonna do rebirths. All right, and we're gonna we're, just, we're gonna keep summoning. We're gonna keep popping eggs and keep doing rebirths. So um, right now it's actually right before Heroes Fest. Um, for very new players that have no idea what Heroes Fest is, it's basically like a, a twice a month event that gives you. Um, I, I wouldn't. I don't really think it increases the rates of Nat Fives too much because I really don't summon outside Heroes Fest. But um, basically, it's like an event where if you summon a Nat Five, it gives you another free Nat Five. That's that's pretty much it. Um, and only, it's only for Astro Gem summons. You have to. You can't summon with eggs. You have to summon with Astro Gems. So right now, I'm currently um, trying to save up Astro Gems as much as possible, and I'm sliming like really, really hard. If you have no idea how to do that, you can look up a. <laughs> recent guide I made on how to um, how to farm astro gems basically and that's what I'm doing right now I'm just I'm grinding every day trying to farm as many um, as many astro gems as I can before heroes fest actually does start which should be very very soon it should be in like two two or three days mm, unlucky Man, I'm not. I'm never lucky with these eggs. It's pretty crazy. I, I see a whole bunch of people like that. Just uh, I just pull all types of shit from these eggs. You just pop a few eggs, get a nat five. Like it's nothing. I feel like I used up my luck. I used to be I used to be a lot luckier with these. Like if I, I, I remember back in the day if I popped like 20 eggs while I was still like regularly farming golems. I remember if I like popped 20 eggs, like I would just get like you know at least three four stars or something like that. But nowadays it's it's hard. It's rough. I keep speculating that they nerf the rates of the eggs. But no one seems to believe me. They just tell me I'm unlucky. Am I? Am I unlucky? Or am I cursed? Alright, alright. This is, uh, it's getting a little bit rough. We've almost gone through 20 eggs. Can I can I get through 50... How many eggs did I have? 57? 58? 56? I think it was 56. Can I get through 56 eggs without a single 4 star? Oh man, I'm... I'm, I'm actually feeling excited. I feel like I'm going to break a new record. How many eggs can you summon consecutively without getting a single 4 star? I feel like it's because I don't care too much. I feel like it's because I've become Buddha. I used to rage, you know? Back in the day. Back in the day, I used to get angry. I'm like, what the fuck? This, this damn egg, it doesn't give me anything. But um, nowadays, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't give that much of a shit anymore. It, it was ever since that, uh, that month where they had the Mona Rebirth. I basically, I, I sold my soul. Like, I sold my... I sold... I did everything I could to rebirth as many Monas to try to get, get a Dark Mona with a square slot during that month. It didn't happen. I, I, I think I rebirth over 200 monsters, or not 200 monsters, but I rebirth more than 200 times during the whole entire month um, to try to get the Dark Mona, which is pretty uh, pretty insane. I I like I ran out of resources. I started like wailing, um, 
buying Astro Gems, and I started like summoning just so I can get more more three stars to feed into the rebirth thing. It was uh, those were dark times. But since that month, I've I've literally like I've I just I saw the light. Like I, I've reached enlightenment. Like nothing nothing tilts me anymore. I don't I don't care much about anything. Except for uh, when I get like really good um, siphon gems from dragons, I get super excited. Or really good pugilist gems. I love those as well. Now people might people ask me all the time, um, like why why do you keep rebirthing if you already have all the Phibians? And it's basically so I can get fodder for the rebirth festival. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's something that comes with the Heroes Festival. It's like a side event, and it lo allows you to rebirth for a certain monster. I think it's going to be the Sparkit again. Um, you can check them out in your Astro Guide. But basically, it's just like these rebirths. Um, they give you like the RGB versions. You feed instead of feeding three stars into it, you feed um, three four stars into it, and it, and you need four stars to to do that. So I'm trying to get as many light dark Phibians because they're those are four star monsters. Oh, they have to be natural four stars, not not like normal four star monsters. They have to be nat four monsters. So if I if I summon a light and dark Phibian, I can use them for the uh, for the rebirth festival, which is which is pretty nice. Man, I was, I just, well, I was just sliming just now, and I, I ran across a, a boltwing, a wood boltwing. Tried to catch it. Didn't get caught. It was sad because I was short like one more boltwing for for an evil three one. Um, but the good news is it dropped a succubus book, which is actually more valuable in my opinion. I guess we'll feed these three in. Uh, they they really have don't, not that much value. See if I, we can get a variant Phibian. If not, I could always farm Slumbering City, so it's not too bad. Nice, I got a variant. It's pretty good. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see how many more eggs I can pop without getting a four star. Can I go through fifty something eggs without a single one? But I remember like really really back early back in the day, there was a there was one time when I. When I summoned like 50 something eggs, didn't get a single, um, didn't get one single lightning at all. And I was like super tilted. I was like extremely tilted. Um, and, and I, I remember like that hour after that, it was actually off video. I bought an egg from, from the, the shop and it gave me a witch shiva. But I don't do that anymore. Because I've become Buddha. If you look above me, there's a note. It's a note to remind myself. Actually, it's over there. It's a note to remind myself. It's the don't rage summon note. I used to rage pretty damn hard. Those were the times. All right, I think I, I think I'm about to break a record here. Do you guys think so too? Are you feeling it? Cuz I definitely am. You know what I'm doing with those other eggs, those random like white eggs? I'm waiting for the day when I actually don't get like when I'm actually not lazy and I want to complete the astro guide for all two stars because I'm short a few and those few are actually only summonable so I think like one of these days when I when I when I'm not a uh, it's not that I'm lazy it's just that I I don't want to be bothered <laughs> it, there's a difference all right there's a difference between being lazy and can't be bothered like you just you just don't want to do it Versus, uh, you're too lazy to do it. The two are different. There, there is actually a difference, believe me.
I think that don't can't be bothered feeling comes when uh when you really like when when you can do something more effectively or more efficiently but the 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 gain is not really worth it so you just can't be bothered man what is this all right i think this is this is prepping me for the ultimate uh, ritual for the light dark egg someone asked me what the ritual was cuz i mentioned it last video it's basically like saving my energy and if I can go through as many normal eggs as possible, but it needs to get to zero. I need to, I need to get to zero or else or else it'll fail. But basically, if I could, it depends on how many eggs I can summon without getting a single four star. And then I pop the light dark egg and then it gives me a four star. That's the ritual, all right? That's that's the ultimate ritual. Now I'm nervous. I, I don't want to... Two more eggs, two more eggs. Please, no four star. Okay, last egg, last egg. It's like... It's like saving up karma, basically. Alright, are you guys ready? You guys ready? I'm not gonna click skip. My, my hands. Nope, it, it, it cucked me. And it's Cosmo, I knew it. Oh my god, alright, that was, uh... <laughs> that was... That was uh, that was quite tilting. That was that was quite tilting to be honest. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna lie. That was that was a little bit tilting. Well, at least I got this uh, this yeti. Um, I'm feeling a little bit sad. Okay, the the next thing I wanted to talk about is I finally leveled my wood anu to max level. I've tested him out in the in slumbering city. Um, I'm gonna be honest. He he doesn't serve too well as a as a as a tank. I think I need to max these two gems out in order for him to actually be tanky enough. Because I actually did get some fail runs. Now you might be asking, why the hell are you using a double hunter attacker built full tank to do your tanking? And the reason for that, or there's a perfectly good explanation for that. I it's because I have a perfect skill wood anu that has a 20% crit lead. So I just wanted to use this crit lead. For um, in the future, I'm not, I don't need it now, but I, I think in the future I want to actually use his crit lead, and I want to use like two of those like water mammoth things because they have double hunter. So I want to actually use two of those on siphon because it's very very hard to reach 100% crit on siphon. So I'm thinking if I can just uh, if I can use the the leader skill plus a little bit of crit rate subs plus a crit rate gem, um, I might be able to push 100% crit on the two like water mammoths I'm using for for. Um, Farming, farming Aurora Plateau, but I think my current team's not not too bad. I I've been switching him out and using Wood Nightmare now. Actually, Wood Nightmare is a perfect unit for that. But the problem with my Wood Nightmare is she doesn't have max resist, which means that if she gets petrified, she actually does less hits, which means less gold gain for me. But I I think this this team's not too bad, but it does get me some fail runs sometimes. If I use the Wood Nightmare, it's it's like impossible to fail because even if they, um. Like they can't kill her. It's just impossible. She's gonna she's gonna heal and then like everybody but he's gonna get full HP. Um, so yeah, I've actually just been running this team for for Aurora Plateau now. I'll show it again because this time my Anu's actually actually max level. You have to excuse his gems because I don't have the don't have the gold to to max him out. Now, um, yeah, everyone's on Siphon except for the Anu. Anu's on Conviction, but he does have Max Resist. So it's very, very hard for the Gargoyles to stun him. Now, this is this is where it might, um, where he might possibly die. It's when there's multiple Gargoyles doing this. But with Max Resist, he basically, like, he just resists everything. My Monas also get full bars on, on like, hitting three fire monsters so that's also also very very nice
So yeah, that, that's that's pretty much it. I just been running that for a raw plateau. Um, I'm planning on doing this for the long term, until I get enough, like until I've collected enough uh, of those mammoth things to actually build one. And when I build one, I'll let them borrow my 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 fire gen's runes, and then we're gonna have some uh, or gems. I mean, we're gonna have some crazy crazy farm time. I think there's a there's also an alternative level, but I think the the gold gain is actually slightly less. Now these these gems don't don't actually wait. I don't think they sell for that much. Oh, the old slumbering city farm was so good because it is it had ruin gems which, which actually sold for more. But now the gold gain on slumbering city is actually quite poor. But I was thinking if I could use one of my water monas for, for the slumbering city farm. And then also have a light tank. But I also need a wood tank as well. But I was thinking the wood tank could also be on siphon as well. like Because they don't actually need to tank the damage. They just need to make sure my fire gen never gets hit. Because if, if my fire gen gets hit, um, it will slow down the run. But if he never gets hit, it's, it's impossible for the runs to slow down. So we're actually running something like this. But I think if I if I get a, another wood attacker and, and just gem it up with a triple attack siphon, it could also work as well. The 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 sad thing is I don't have a second crit rate siphon gem. I have no idea why it's so hard. But yeah, this is a uh, this is slumbering city, but the gold gain isn't as good, I don't think. I'm not sure if I can reach 2k here. Mona actually works pretty well on this. She can take take the uh take the hits. She can take the hits as well as uh get her siphon, get her bar full, so it's pretty good. Yeah, the, the gold gain is not very good. You basically only get um, 1,500 from the stage. And I think the gem averages to around, around uh, I think it was 3.5k 3 last time I did the calculation. A long, long time ago, I made a video calculating the gold gain um, of, of gems. It was before they changed Slumbering City. It was the old Slumbering City. But that, that was actually the best. It was, it was better than... It, it had better gold gain than the current Aurora Plateau, which actually means a nerf. It's a nerf. They, 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 don't, want, they don't want me farming like Dragon Sigils and farming gold like crazy, but I, I still will, alright? I just need two Evo 3 um, Water Mammoths and some Crit Rate Siphon Gems. I can make it work. But I was I was actually trying something else. I was trying I was trying um there was there's actually a stage on Aurora Plateau that's full wood. And these guys are attackers and these these guys are like are, actually these guys are defenders. They're actually pretty pretty annoying. Um but they are wood, which means that if if I have like a full fire nuke team, I can uh I can fuck them up pretty hard. It's funny how she's actually my best fire nuker, because I have nothing else. What was the plan? I need a water tank. Oh yeah, I need a water tank for this. Uh, maybe I can borrow someone's water tank. Maybe this Odin's tanky enough. Uh. Maybe it'll work. All right, I'll, I'll wait, 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 wait. We got a, we got a water purse. I think this should be tanky enough. I, it doesn't matter what what she does. I just need a water unit that's tanky enough to take the hits. All right, this should, this should be all right. Let's try this out. Let's try this out. You know if this works, what I can do is I can temporarily farm the gold stage until I have enough gold and dragon sigils. And I'll just uh, I'll just make three fire gens, and run some water tank. Maybe something with morale boost in his tanky. Is there a water unit that has morale boost in his tanky? Water Arthur, that's what I need. Yes. Or water suck, but I, I'm probably never building a water suck because I already built two sucks. I'm too, 
I'm too lazy. I can't be bothered. I'm not lazy. I'm, I'm just... I can't be bothered. Alright, this doesn't look too bad, I don't think. The thing is, uh, the gold gain on this stage is actually slightly less, but I think I can get much faster runs on this stage. Actually, they, they probably might not be much faster. They'll be slightly faster. Minute and five. I think this can go under a minute. Oh, wait, I still get 2,000? That's interesting. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, am I drunk? Wait, I still get 2,000. What about, what about, wait, what? Wait, I must, I must be drunk. I must be very, very drunk. I, I heard on Reddit that they put a gold cap on the stages because they don't want people, like, farming like crazy. Oh no, I got 3,000 from this, I think. Not 2,000. Go on, hit my nightmare. Hit her hard. Oh, just a little bit more to kill that min Minotaur. See, the, the Anu is also really good because he never gets stunned. And if it was an Anu, he would have killed that Minotaur this turn. I think I get 3,000 on this stage. But it's it's slightly slower. But I think having slower runs, but like... A little bit more gold is worth it. Maybe. I'm not sure. I need to do the math. If the other run is also positive, then we'll, we'll have to consider the time it takes for it to run. But if the other run um, actually doesn't net me a positive gain, then it's, it's not really worth it. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, they stop giving gold after a while. You can only hit a monster so many times before it stops giving you gold. Which means high attack and high, and better run time is more important. I just need those water mammoths because they, they actually hit pretty hard. Wait, I still get 2,000. This is... Damn it, they don't want me to make gold. They don't want me to make a positive gain. Farming story stages. I think, I think that's, the, that's their trick. I think there, there is a cap. I feel like there's there actually is a cap. A cap of how much gold you can gain. We're gonna have to do some testing. This is this is very interesting. Um, let me let me like do do ten runs as I did for that slumbering city video tomorrow, and we'll we'll uh, we'll do some calculations. All right, we'll do some we'll have some Asian bro math time. Um, but anyways, that's really all I want to want to uh, show you guys. If you're curious as to why I'm farming story stages, it's, it's for the dragon sigils. You can only get these dragon these babies um, from extreme mode and story. I only have 81 this week because I I spent most of my time in B8 and I got all those eggs and summoned them and they gave me uh, they gave me absolute jack shit. So man, I am salty. I am salty. I, I'll admit it. I'm I'm a little bit salty. Like, I went through 50-something eggs, not a single lightning, but I think I, I broke a new world record. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.